Today, I'm invited to the wedding of the executive director, who is also the son of the president of our business partner. Oh, what a beautiful bride! The groom looks great too! My name is Koki Hanabusa, 26 years old. Watching this kind of thing makes me wish I could meet the right person and get married too. But I can't seem to meet anyone good! I only come across the ideas and girls who think guys are ATMs! Ah! Hey, don't get off that negative aura at a celebration. This is a place to smile and celebrate. That's right, you know what they say. Fortune comes through cheerful gates. What is that? It's an English proverb, meaning as they say in Japan, fortune comes to those who smile. So why don't you just say that from the beginning? <laughs> yeah, uh, but it just popped into my head. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait, I've seen you somewhere. Oh, are you Koki Hanabusa of Seka Junior High? Oh, are you Amoi-san? That's right, Kamina Amoi. I remember you because you have an unusual name. What are you doing here? I'm invited because I do business with Ogu-san, today's groom, who is the managing director of Watson Estates. Oh, I have a business relationship with Watson Estate too. We have a relationship with them, which is why my company was invited. What? You? You're a liar! There's no way you work for a company that can do business with Watson. What? Why not? Because you only graduated from junior high school, didn't you? You were absent so often in the third grade that you didn't even pass the high school entrance exams. Well, it's true I didn't have time for high school entrance exams back then when I was in the same class as you, but... We never saw each other since junior high school, so it's normal for people to think so. Hey, how did you do on the exam? Great! I'll be a high school girl in spring! I'm so happy to be free from exams! Oh my, Koki's going to skip school again. I'm feeling a little bit of pain, so I have to leave early. My family's here to pick me up. At the time, I was sick and getting worse every day. So I had to leave school early more often than not. <laughs> you couldn't even take the entrance exam! If you can't even go to high school, your future must be bleak. Amoy had excellent grades and was the first in our class to finish the entrance exams, which is probably why she was able to act the way she did. Remembering Amoy brings back bad memories, but Amoy only knew me until we graduated from junior high school when we were classmates. After that, a new surgical method was discovered by a doctor that had not been yet seen in Japan. They suggested that to me, so I trusted my fate to it. As a result, I succeeded in overcoming the disease that had been plaguing me. And then I studied hard to catch up and took the high school entrance exam a year late. I was able to get into high school. I was not used to high school life with classmates who were younger than me at first, but gradually I got used to it. I was puzzled by the way people around me interacted with me, but that was probably because of me, and I became comfortable with them after I talked to them actively. Now that I think about it, not everyone at university is the same age. And it's normal to have colleagues who are much older than you when you go out into the world. Age has nothing to do with getting along. So I took the entrance exam for college, graduated, and now I'm working hard at the company. But... That's right. You didn't even go to school properly. They didn't accept you at the high school entrance exam, did they? Just be honest. You dressed in a suit and pretended to be an invited guest to eat a free meal. You're so pathetic. I wonder if she thinks I'm unemployed or something. What is she misunderstanding? She has terrible prejudice, but she also makes a lot of assumptions. She must have a vivid imagination. Well, 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 everyone at Hanabusa Building! Thank you for attending this ceremony. Oh, President Ogu, congratulations on this occasion. President, there's a suspicious person blending in at the company. You'd better tell the security guard and take him out as soon as possible. They went to the same junior high as this guy. He probably came here thinking no one would know him. He says he's here for business or something. But he didn't even go to high school. That can't be true. I hear that happens sometimes. People who want to take advantage of the fine food and pretend to be an invited guest. Sometimes they sit with other strangers at the same table so people don't notice them. What? Am I being analyzed like that? Amoy-san, what are you talking about? Hanabusa-san graduated from Oxford University. 
Huh, no way. He's deceiving you. He can't even make it to you of tea. It's a good thing I'm here to expose the fraud. Hey, you, I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'd appreciate it if you'd stop doing that to our valued business partner. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, Mitsuru, it's... Executive Director, this guy's only got a junior high school diploma, but he keeps lying. Junior high graduate, what do you mean? Well, she seems to think my la- Well, she seems to think my last degree was junior high. What? You was in me class at Oxford? Well, it is unexpected to meet Japanese people as classmates over there, but we also study together. In Japan, it's not unusual to have to work part-time while living in college, but over there, there's no time for that because of the workload. Yeah, whatever the assignment was due, the library would be filled with students. <laughs> Good times. What? What? Is that true? Not only that, Koki runs a business, and we've been good friends both professionally and privately. He owns a building construction management company. They're a small company with four employees, but they're hitting 14 billion a year in sales. 14 billion? Hey, Amoy, I thought you were making a racket, so I came over here to see. What are you doing? President Otto, she was accusing our important business partner and friend for being an uneducated and suspicious person. Amoy? No, no, President, it's not like that. Um, uh, how should I put it? Just apologize first. You'll be punished with a lot more, so be prepared. Understood? Y yes. What's going on? And so, the wedding started off with a bit of a hitch, but after that, everything went smoothly and the ceremony came to a happy end. I heard from Mitsuru that the person in charge of Watson and Amoy's company had been replaced. Apparently, Amoy was forced to quit being in charge, and it is unclear what kind of work she has been doing since then. She just assumed the president was a junior high school graduate, even though she has no idea what she was talking about. No, I think you should be thinking that a junior high school graduate equals a dropout in life. A message from Mitsuru. Come to the restaurant I was telling you about after work today. Yes, thank you for calling. This is Hanabusa Building. Oh, thank you. My name is Amoy, whom I met at the wedding reception the other day. May I talk to Hanabusa-san to convey my apology? President, it's a call from that woman. What? The one who was so rude to the president? What should I do? Thank you for your consideration. We appreciate your apology on the other day. and There are no regrets. If you have any other opportunity to work with us again, please contact us. What? Hey! Wait! I wonder what she wants now. What? I thought it was just an accident and there was nothing to drag out. I realized her intention when I left the company building to meet Mitsuru. Koki! I'm sorry about the other day. I misunderstood you. No, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't think that's the only problem, but... So, you're the president of a company with an annual salary of 14 billion, right? What a grab a bite to eat. So that's what it is. No thank you, I have a meeting to go to. Hey, taxi! To Bar Wonder ASAP! I managed to lose her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, man. I've been waiting for you. It's faster on the subway. Come on, Koki. Just give in and come to dinner with me. What the? Why is this woman... Hey, Koki! Sorry for the wait! Rinka, you late? Sorry, work took so long. Oh, yeah. Amoy san. I'd like you to be my fiance, Charlotte. I'm Charlotte Bannett from England. And I have my BJT and G1 Plus qualifications. So free for all to talk to me in Japanese. She's my classmate from Oxford. Who are you? Uh, I... I... Uh, excuse me! What was that about? Oh, don't worry about it. Lottie, you really helped me there. Amoy was a little overwhelmed by her presence, but we're normal people. At least the four of us are having fun and getting along without worrying about how much money we're making. It is really not a good idea to evaluate a person only by looking at their past. You should take the person's present into account and make a fair evaluation, especially if you're a working adult. How did you guys enjoy today's story? Leave a comment below! Thanks for watching! Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more! See you guys next time! Bye bye
Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.